Today is Father's Day and we are at Yellowstone State Park in Wisconsin. Megan and Josh had given me a camping weekend for Christmas last year, so we decided to do it this weekend. We're in Site 79. Here is our campsite. It's very big and very private. I got the solar panels out charging the solar generator. It's a pretty cloudy day, so I'm only getting about 25 to 30 watts in. But yesterday when it was full sun, I was getting about 85 watts in. And I was able to fully recharge the battery in about four hours. I've got my string lights charging. And then here's the camping setup, obviously the truck. We got the ARB awning room over there on the camper. And then here's the kitchen. It's not very big, but it's got everything we need. And then on around back to the awning room. The tent over the back is actually a, a Father's Day present from about 10 or 15 years ago. I was gonna put it on the back of the teardrop I was building, but we never got it built, so we put it on the back of this one. Just helps keep the rain and sun out when you're cooking back there. Megan and Josh were across the road in site 80. They have a tent that you actually attach to the back of your car and use the back of the car as a sleeping area. For the most part, we didn't do a whole lot this weekend. We just hung around camp, relaxed, and enjoyed each other's company. Of course, with Megan and Josh's wedding only being a few months away, Dana and Megan spent a lot of time talking about the wedding. We also spent a lot of time cooking and eating. All this stuff's already come off. All right, let's take a look. Megan and Josh brought their little Weber grill, and Josh did a great job cooking up some steaks and pork chops for us. After we ate, Megan and I went up and got some firewood so we could make a campfire tonight. Megan found a recipe for a Dutch oven buried dump cake, so we thought we'd try it. I was a little skeptical because it had a full cake mix and no liquids of any kind in it. It was also getting late so we put it in the fire when the fire was way too hot. Let's just say it didn't turn out too well and we all opted to skip dessert that night. This was the first time using this Dutch oven and I didn't realize it had plastic feet on both the top and the bottom that needed to be removed. The top ones did not fare too well. Megan gave me a Father's Day card that said to a dad who can fix anything and then proceeded to tell me her car battery was dead from leaving the back hatch open all weekend. Even though we had a few mishaps, I think we all had fun and we can't wait to see what our next adventure will be as we do it across America.